managing Microsoft 365 licenses and preserving the emails of non-active users might be a kind of a challenge for Microsoft 365 administrators. My name is Carlos, and today I will give you some tips that will help you preserve users' emails when they leave the organization, so you can reassign the license for new employees. The first thought that may come to our minds when a user leaves the organization is to remove their licenses and reassign it to a new employee. However, this has a problem. You probably want to preserve and keep the emails of the person that just left. When removing the license, the emails can be recovered if you assign a new valid license to the user within a 30 days period after removing the license. After the 30 days, the data will be permanently deleted. Well, there is a solution to this problem. Microsoft 365 gives you the option to convert the regular user, I mean the regular mailbox, to a shared mailbox. This is available within your Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Here are some advantages of using a shared mailbox. It does not require a Microsoft 365 license, so you don't need to pay for it. When you convert a regular user to a shared mailbox, all the emails are preserved. No emails are deleted. The shared mailbox offers 50 GB of storage. Anyone within the organization with the right permissions can access the shared mailbox. It is what is called a shared mailbox member. Any member can reply as the user of the shared mailbox. You can create shared mailboxes under any verified domain within your Microsoft 365 tenant. If you are interested in adding multiple domain names to your Microsoft 365 tenant, here I have a video that will show you how to do it. The process to convert a regular mailbox to a shared mailbox is quite simple. First, you will need to have access to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Let's now jump into our computer and I will show you how to complete the steps. As we mentioned before, we will need admin role in order to access the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Within our Microsoft account, we will find this icon here, admin, and it will give you access to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. We may find two different ways to convert a regular mailbox to a shared mailbox. In some cases, if you click on users and then click on active users, we will be able to select the user that we want to convert into a shared mailbox. On the right, we click on mail and we may find the option to convert this mailbox to a shared mailbox. In this case, we don't see it. If you don't see it here, then the other option is to access the Microsoft Exchange Admin Center. Then we need to click on Show All and we will find Exchange. Microsoft is currently having a transition to a modern Exchange Admin Center, which is the one that we are seeing here. And you also have the option to access the classic Exchange Admin Center. Either way, you will be able to access the option to convert the regular mailbox to a shared mailbox. We will show you both. You can select the user, the mailbox that you want to convert, and then you will see the option right here on the top, convert to a shared mailbox. We click here and it will prompt convert mailbox from regular to share. Do you want to convert the mailbox? And then you click here to confirm. Once you confirm, the regular mailbox will be converted to share mailbox. The process could take a couple of minutes. After converting the mailbox, you can go back to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and under Active Users, you will be able to select the user and then you can safely remove the license. Click on Save Changes and you will be able to reuse the license for a new user. Then you will probably want to complete the setup by adding members to your shared mailbox. You will need to click on Groups, Share Mailboxes, and here we have a shared mailbox. We can select this one, and on the right we will see Members. We click on Edit, and then we can add members. Click on the plus sign, then we click on the user that we want to make a member of this shared mailbox. Then click on Add, and now it is saved. From now on, this user 
will have access to the share mail box and all the emails that were saved in the share mail box. With this simple step that we have followed, we are able to keep and preserve all the emails that belong to the regular mailbox. The regular mailbox was converted to a share mailbox. We removed the license. This member will be able to access the emails that belong to their regular mailbox. And as we said before, the license will be available to be assigned to a new user. In this case, we converted a regular mailbox to a share mailbox. We can also create a share mailbox without having a regular mailbox. From here, within share mailboxes, we can click on add a share mailbox. We will give a name, we will give a email. We can select the domain name that we want to use for this share mailbox. And then we click on save changes and it will display here on this section. Then we will be able to add members to that new share mailbox. Let's go back to the Exchange Admin Center for a moment and we will find the option to convert to a share mailbox within the classic Exchange Admin Center. We click here and then we click on Recipients. In this case, we only have one user. For this user, which is selected, we will find the option here, Convert to a share mailbox. We click on Convert and then we need to confirm that we want to convert this to a share mailbox. The process will take a couple of minutes. Once we have the confirmation that the mailbox has been converted to a share mailbox, we will be able to go back to the Microsoft Admin Center and then under Groups, Share Mailboxes, and we can add members to the new share mailbox. As we mentioned in the introduction, a share mailbox has 50 gigabytes of storage and it is completely free. I don't need a license to create a share mailbox and we can create multiple share mailboxes without licenses. A share mailbox can be used in many other scenarios. I have a video here where I provide more details about this great Microsoft 365 tool, where I also explain how to convert a share mailbox back to a regular mailbox. I have used share mailboxes in many opportunities, and it has helped many businesses to solve issues in different situations. It can help to avoid some headaches and also save some money by not having to buy additional licenses. I hope you find this video and the share mailbox a useful tool. If you do, please give us a thumbs up. Also, let me know if you have any question or comment. Just leave it below at the end of the video. And if you want to see more videos like this one or want to find this one easily in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Remember, it is free and it helped me to continue creating content like this one. Thank you and I hope to see you next time.